Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nikki and I am back again with another video for you today. So today I am in a new place with some new hair and I just want to talk about that really quick before we get into the video. Um, since I'm moving, uh, I'm going back to school next week uh, down in North Carolina. It's been kind of crazy in my house and I'm moving a lot of my clothes around and packing everything. So I'm not in my bedroom, so today we're in another room. So that's kind of one thing that you might be thinking about. And then the other thing is that I did um, ombre my hair light blonde. Today I'm very frizzy because it's very hot where I live. Um, so I kind of a mess and I'm going out to dinner later so I'm gonna have to curl my hair for that. But right now, this is what we're working with. If you want to see the actual color of my real hair because it, it's just not doing any justice right now with this whole natural mess looking, um, please follow me on Instagram at Nikki Marigus and you can see I did a shoot with my friend the other day um, of my new hair right after I got it done. So you can check out those pictures. If you follow me, I will accept you because I'm private and you can see what I did to myself. So the real reason we are all here today is because last week I posted a pretty large haul. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I will link it down in, this, um, in the description box, but watch that first because I mentioned that I didn't include all of the stuff that I've recently bought and I got a ton of comments saying like, hello, make a part two. So now we are here with this. Um, I'm going to show you guys everything that I didn't include in the last video, starting with bathing suits. I know that this is a back-to-school fall-ish type haul but I mentioned bathing suits and you guys wanted to see that so um, since I go to school down in North Carolina I will be wearing these definitely for a few more months so we're just gonna start right off with the swimsuits that I've recently bought I also actually have a new Urban Outfitter swimsuit coming in the mail today so <laughs> Since this won't be in the haul, I'll probably Instagram a picture of it. So again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, a new picture of that will probably be up by the end of the week because I think it's supposed to come Thursday. I have a bodysuit coming from PacSun today, and then I think I have that new bathing suit from Urban Outfitters coming in the mail on Thursday, so I'll probably take a beach trip, take a cute picture, and put it on Instagram, so in case you care. So the first bathing suit that I got is from Body Glove and these are the bottoms. They've just got like little tiny loops right here with like the cutouts and then it has the signature Body Glove um, like little heart that says Body Glove on it and they're just black. Um, those were not a huge deal but the thing is that they came with this top which was what I was all about. Um, it is just black, it has paddings, um, padding inside and it's really flattering and then the back is really really cute. It's got, you know, what is that four straps across the back and it's a halter neck that ties at the top and this was a size medium and I love that um from rip curl I got a top and a bottom and then another pair of bottoms so these are the first pair of bottoms that I got from rip curl they are cheeky bottoms and they're just black but then they are reversible and they have white on this side um I literally love these, these are my favorite bottoms I own because they're not like thongs or anything. I hate when like a whole butt is out, but you know, they're not like diaper booty either, which is really, really nice. And Rip Curl makes really, really nice quality stuff. So that is the bottoms that I got. And then also from Rip Curl, I picked up this top here that I'm dying over. This is one of my favorites. It's got um, built-in cups too, so when you wash it, they don't slide around. Like you have to like fix them every time because they're literally sewn right in, so they don't move, which is really, really nice. But this just has um, caging across the front. And then the bottoms look like this. They're just thick straps blue and then they have ruching across the back. Um, those looked way smaller than they are. They're really not that tiny. Um, for some reason they look, because probably because of the ruching, they look like they're really small. But they're just cheeky bottoms. Um, and those have been really awesome too. Those bottoms are really thin, so when I first got them I was like, uh, they're probably like, you know, not gonna be great when they're wet, but they have been no problem at all for me. And then the other top that I got, this is from Victoria's Secret. It's their pink line. Um, I'm going to miss Victoria's Secret bathing suits so much. It's really been hard on me. I don't even want to think about next summer when I'm trying to shop for swimwear. And I can't go to Victoria's Secret to buy anything because they're not going to be in existence. But on the bright side, I did get this for $15 instead of like $50 because they're selling everything for dirt cheap. So this is just a bra top and then it's got um, like a cross design in the front. And then the back has like a T-shape. I don't know how well you can see that. It just like goes straight down the back. Um, I really, really like this a lot. This like fits me perfect. It's the size medium, which is A to C. 
um, and like it, it just fits me really, really well and the straps are adjustable too so that I can make it even perfect, more perfect, but I love that. So those are all my swimsuits that I got. Like I said, I'll be wearing them out for a while still because I'll be in North Carolina, but hopefully no matter where you are in the country or in the world, you'll still have warm weather for a while. I'm hoping that you do um, so that you can enjoy the sun because I always miss it when it goes away. But onto clothing, I got one thing from Lululemon and um, it's just the like Align 2 pants that come up really, really high and they're really thin. They're like 7 eighths lengths and this is just like the all black pair. But I mean these I literally swear by. They're so comfortable. They're like actually I could live in them. I don't work out in these. I have other pants that I work out in because these are thin and I don't want them to get really dirty or um, stretched or anything at all. These are my everyday leggings and I absolutely adore them. Okay, so the rest of this haul is a little bit different and very special. Uh, I went to Boston and stood in line for three hours because Brandy Melville was having a warehouse sale. So if you're not familiar with that is with what that is, um, the store opens at 9 a.m. and they do this at all of their locations, I believe, um, like twice a year, I think, when they're trying to get rid of stock. Um, they open their store and at that point there are hundreds of hundreds of girls standing outside the door and in groups they take you up into either their basement or their attic or whatever depending on the store layout for us it was the attic and they do a warehouse sale where all of their inventory is in huge boxes and they kind of say go like on your market set go and you're allowed they give you a trash bag and you're allowed to just fill the bags with clothing on um, whatever you want and it's final sale and at that point you pay cash and everything is five to fifteen dollars in the store and then you go home and you have a good day but I was sitting in line for three hours with my two best friends and we were seeing girls come out of the store with huge trash bags full of clothing. It's crazy. They don't even give you a receipt. You literally walk up to a, like a person and they count everything in your bag and they tell you the total and you give them the cash and then you leave the store. Um, so I have this bag here filled with all of the stuff that I got while I was at the warehouse sale. Um, we got there at 9 in the morning and we got in at noon and we had a half an hour to just fill our bags and during that time this is the stuff that I acquired. So the first thing that I got, um, and I guess I can try to tell you the real tags. Some of them have tags, some of them don't, but everything that I bought was five to $15. The t-shirts, crop tops, like stuff like that, bralettes were five. And then it was like long sleeves and like skirts were uh, 10. And then like the heavier stuff, like thick sweaters and denim, like jeans and all that were 15. So you can kind of guess, but. So I picked up this burgundy, um, short sleeve like long hangy t-shirt and it's obviously like the amazing brandy cotton um i love this shirt i have it in gray and a light green color and i've been wanting burgundy ever forever because it's my favorite color so when i saw this i had to snag it um i picked up another pair of vody shorts i have these ones in maroon and black and white stripes so i got them in like a baby blue color because i wear a lot of gray and white and i just can't because um so cute so those are really, really soft as well, and I like to wear them. I personally don't wear them out. I've seen some girls on the street wear them, but I think they're more of like a loungewear kind of thing that you wear, you know, to sleepovers or in your dorm or with your friends. Um, the next thing that I got is this crop top. It is ribbed, um, and it's a v-neck long sleeve one. It's very tight, and then it's a little baggy, like right here, just on the bottom, just because of my body shape, because I have uh, my hips go in, so it's like a little uh, looser there. But so like, just to give you a retrospect, this, uh, to put into retrospect, this is $32 and I think I paid 10 for it because I think this is considered long sleeve and not sweater. If anything, it may have been 15 but I mean, <laughs> either way, it was more than half off. Next up, I got this light pink sweater and this was definitely 15 because it's heavier, but it's just a ribbed long sleeve baggy sweater. This was usually 39 and I paid 15 for it. It's just a cute little like boat neck, or not even that. It's just like mock, not even mock neck. It's just like a, I don't know, rounded normal old sweater. But it's really, really soft because it's brandy. So that's gonna be really good for when eventually it does get cold in North Carolina. Next, I have this sweatshirt here and this is John Galt. And it is a hoodie with some little drawstrings and it's long sleeve and it's baggy and I think, does it have a pocket? Yep, it has a pocket right in the middle, just like your average old sweatshirt. 
but I've been eyeing these forever just because, you know, they're going to be brandy cotton, so they're soft as crap. And I've seen them in, like, gray and light pink and all these really cute colors. But then I saw it in burgundy and I was like, yes, obviously, gotta be mine. Next up we have this, uh, I want to say it's like quarter sleeve. Um, yeah, like a quarter sleeve, straight off the shoulder, black and white striped ribbed. It's kind of cropped, but not like a super cropped top. Like I could wear these with low rise jeans and I would just have like a little bit of midriff. Um, it's... Uh, You'll see in the clip, but I want to say it goes to like my belly button, so it's not quite a crop top because it's a little bit longer. But I mean, for five bucks, like so cute. Stop, love it. I love anything off the shoulder. Oh my god! If you guys ever find anything off the shoulder that's like so cute, you should totally either like DM me on Instagram or send it to me. Like, tell me about it in the comments below because I'm obsessed with the off the shoulder look. I was really fortunate. I have fairly narrow shoulders anyway, and I do my arms at the gym, so like I'm just. I like this area of my body so off the shoulder I think looks really flattering on me that and halter is like my two best like like shapes for shirts on me so I love anything off the shoulder so feel free to send me anything that you think is cute that's off the shoulder and then the last two things are very special I'm gonna try and let me just get them looking cute before I can well you just saw them <laughs> I got two silk shirts from Brandy and these usually run for $25 and I got them both for five, so technically, instead of paying 50 bucks, not even technically, literally, instead of paying $50 um, for these shirts that you probably have seen everywhere, I got them for 10. So I picked up the satin gold one, it's like a champagne color. Oh my god, I'm dying over these, they are so stinking cute. So it just ties in the front and you can wear them with like a crazy lacy bralette, or you could wear them over like a slip dress, um, probably not silk because silk on silk, I don't know how well that would work, but like a cotton like thin dress or something, or um, even a crop top, like I was trying on everything over my crop tops because there was no mirrors since we were literally in a warehouse. Um, there was mirrors, but there was like no dressing rooms, so you just kind of like tried everything on, just like threw it on your body just to make sure it felt, fit comfortably. And I like peeked in a mirror and I had like a light green crop top on and it literally didn't even look bad over the crop top. So I got this in the champagne color and then I also picked it up in a soft blue color and I know that they're very similar to each other but I mean these shirts are $25 like I was gonna get, get them no matter what because they were only five bucks so I don't care if they're close in color I got this in a baby blue color as well and this one is much more wrinkly than the other don't know why but so that one's gonna have to be like pressed out but those are so so cute um like literally living for them and I almost forgot the last thing that I bought is this here choker um this was eight dollars and it's just like the a thick velvet choker it's kind of hard to tell right here it just looks black but the velvet has tints of blue and red in it also so it's really pretty because it just goes with all of those like dark colors like navy and maroon which are like my favorites um, and it's got an elastic in the back that you just tie like into a bow so it's extremely comfortable like this is made so nicely it's I think it's really good quality so I picked that up as well and obviously I'm wearing it right now with my free people bodysuit and working it so that is everything I have to show you guys um, please let me know if there's anything else you want to see before I go to college because I won't have everything of mine while I'm there like if you want to see a jewelry collection um, I did just show you all the bathing suits I bought this year, but and I have a bathing suit collection But if you want to see shoes of mine anything anything Please let me know soon so that I can film it before I go Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make do with what I do bring with me to school But yeah anything I mean comment leave me a DM in Instagram anything, please Just let me know it always helps me out and I appreciate hearing from you guys So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one Bye